So your New Year's resolution is to get into amateur radio. Well, I got a few tips here that might help you out. So stick around and we'll get right into it for you guys. Hi, everybody. My name is Ron. My call sign is VA3FUC. I am a registered amateur radio operator in Canada. Today, I'm going to talk about how I got my amateur radio license and tips and tricks that might help you, the person that's watching this video, get your amateur radio license. Now, I know I'm going to be talking mostly about the Canadian amateur radio license because that's the one I studied for. So to Americans and others, this may not have what you're looking for, but I still have a lot of tips that might help you out. So take it with a grain of salt of what I'm talking about, but you can use my tips to help you guys you know, get your license. First thing I would do is actually contact and find out what clubs are in your area. A club is a great way to start learning amateur radio because you're going to meet a lot of people that are likewise the same boat that you were in. Starting off fresh, not having a clue about amateur radio. And a lot of the guys that are out there now are really trained really well to teach you, the viewer, how amateur radio works. And you know what? I joined a club when I first started learning amateur radio. It didn't do that well, but I went back at it again and I finally got licensed. And one of the key things that really helped me was the club because they used this book. And because we were using the same book, we all were on the same page. For me, I liked this book. Ham Study Basics. This is a 2017-2018 edition. There's also an online edition. So if you don't want the book, it is available online if you're more comfortable reading online. I myself, I used the book and I used its online counterpart to help me learn amateur radio. And combining the book, because there are some mistakes in the book, granted, but there's also a lot more information on the website that they've added in you know, just like little bits and tricks and stuff, you know, changes information that's not available in the book. So honestly, the book and the website work hand in hand because ham study is $29.99. The book only cost me 20 bucks. So what I need to learn is in here, and I can always go back to this and look at it. Where a ham study, if I'm not paying for the price anymore, I, I don't have access to the website. So I don't have all this information available to me because it's not on the website. But check with your club. What book do they recommend? Sign up for their classes. And that can be a really big help because it helped me really start understanding what I was reading. Another site that is really good. And let me pull up the ham study site first of all so you can see it here. So this is the ham radio site. In here, you have your options to do a simple basic. So it goes over some of the questions, the regulations. Everything is here for you to study and get an idea. This is for you. Then you have your uh, basic electronics, your circuit fundamentals, functioning layout, propagation, antenna systems, and your latest variants. So all this is here for you that you can read and study off of this and understand what we're looking at. So it's something to keep in mind. Now, my account seems to be still active. So yay, I did not know that. But um, yeah, all this is there. And this can be handy because if you're failing in an area and you're not sure, and I'm going to go back to another uh, to a stage that will make more sense here. If you're not sure on something, you can click on this and go through what needs to be done. So measurements, uh, resistance and conductor, power circuits, Ohm's law, series, power, antenna current, uh, decibels, blah, 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 blah. It's all here. And this will make more sense in a second when I get into the next part. So next website I'm going to go is to hamstudy. Uh, this is dot org slash Canada best Canada basic 2014. Now in here, is a website that allows you to get study questions. There's also like flashcards that you can do. So say if you get like a flash question, you're not sure why it's wrong. They kind of explain it a little bit more. And in here, you just log in. It's free to use, free to operate, free to look around and 
it, this site is there to help you learn your basics and to get into amateur radio. I found that this page helped me out a lot when I was getting stuck on trying to understand circuitry. You know, like uh, what's a PNP versus the uh, FET and versus um, MOSFET. So all that information is right here in the ham study guide information. And it helps you out a lot because if you get jammed up on something that you're not 100% sure, this has helped me out a lot. Now, with this, I won't use their practice, their practice test because, well, I've never used it. I've never had a need for it. Because in Canada, we have this. Well, let me go over there. This is the amateur radio examination generator. This is where all the fun begins. So what this has on here is some something I just discovered last week also that kind of turned me turned me uh, towards using this more often. You got the practice uh, exam generator. This will basically ask you questions that you would expect in your exam. I believe it is this one, which is called the study question. You can select which category you're getting stuck on. So say you're having problems with feline and antenna systems. Uh, which is B6. Uh, you can go back to your basic here. And where you're getting stuck on, you're getting stuck on that, you can go back to antenna systems, number seven. You can look at propagation. If your questions are stuck on propagation, Fundam uh, fundamental layout. Now, one of the nice little things on this one that I like is that if you get stuck on a question or you're not sure, you can always type in the question ID here and find out what that question was and then go over it again. So on here, right. when you do a practice exam, I'm going to answer a few questions here. So um, what causes distance AM broadcast on this is me hand bam station not to be heard during daylight hours? Well, that's the, um, I forget which, I believe it is the uh, present of ionized clouds in the E region, ionized region, I believe it's, D, B, if I remember correctly, I think it's D. Yeah, it's D. Okay, say I've hit finish exam. I can find out where I'm weak. So, I only got 13% because that's radio wave. Yay, propagation. But you can see where you're weak. Three, station assembly and safety. One week there, I can go here. Three. Um, which is basic electronics in here. But you can then brush up again, then go write the test again, and then, you know, see how you do. And this is here to help you go back and forth between the two because the numbers match the exam generator. There's eight of them. And uh, ham study says eight. And this can be a lot easier because in the book, it's kind of a little spread out a little bit more. But if you have access to the online service, hamstudy.com, you can access their service. I believe it's $29.99 for per month. But your club might actually be signed up for them. If they're not, definitely it's worthwhile looking at. But find out what your club recommends because your club is going to be different. For me, coming in Canada, they, rec they recommend this one. They said it's the most easiest one to learn from. Now, that may vary on whoever your instructor is, where you're going to learn, and what it's like. I know in the U.S., the AWRL, I believe there are three different books, and I believe hamstudy.com has one for theirs, which relates to the ARRL book. Don't quote me on that, but I think I've seen one that's uh, Ham Study for the U.S. side. It's worth looking into. But if you're looking for help to get your amateur radio license, the book is handy because the book, I found learning from paper a lot easier than learning online, like from reading online. But you can also have other options to, you know, to get better at it. All I got to say is just keep on trying, guys. I, I know it sounds daunting, our test being 100 questions, where if you look at the U.S. side, they only got 30. I know daunting i agree i don't understand why we have to the 100 questions i just wish we went to this type of format that the u.s is doing just to make it a little bit easier but 
that being said, I don't mind answering a hundred questions. This just going over it and over it and over it until you guys get that. Now, if you have different formats, I know the U S has technician general, and then advanced Canada. We have two it's basic and advanced. In the UK, I believe it is uh, the three also they have two, which is the advanced, um, then there's general, and then there, sorry, technician, general, and then you have the advanced also. But I don't know how many questions they have to ask in Great Britain. That I could not answer you. What I'm saying here, guys, is don't be afraid of this stuff. I know it's daunting. I know there's a lot to cover, but in the long run, it's an amazing hobby. I've been having fun being an amateur radio operator. And with it being 2021, when this video will be going out, it's a great time to learn. So with that being said, I want to thank you so much for watching the channel. If you did say, if you do want to help out, you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, make sure you select all and click thumbs up. That always helps comment down below there are also ways that you can help me in the description down below i have a uh, paypal and i have a uh, stream lads link so you know even if you guys decide oh i'll throw a little money your way thank you so much you don't have to it's not required but if you want to help out the channel that does help me out a lot well until next time everybody i want to say thank you so much 73 and uh hope to hear you on the radio soon who knows May hit me up on DMR. May I hear you on HF. Hard to say. Thank you, everybody, and have yourselves a great one, and we'll catch you on the next one.